about Sebastian Bach, English Suites are among his most brilliant keyboard compositions. Bach's first biographer, Forkel, in 1802, speaks about them, that they have been written for an English nobleman. But there is no other evidence of this, and indeed, none of the movements are of English origin. The form of the Baroque suite is characteristic of the age. It means a collection of dance movements connected by the same key, by the same tonality. Dance movements of different tempo, different character. And let's think in terms of flowers, like, like, like a bunch of flowers, not all roses or not all carnations, but different roses that are bound together. And this bond is the tonality. They all start with a huge opening movement called prelude. That is the only movement that, that is not of dance origin. The first suite was written before the others, many years before, in fact, when Bach was still court composer in the city of Weimar. So that means before 1717. And it is a simpler piece than the others. It's in A major. And although I cannot prove it, but I imagine that it must have been conceived for the lute because of these all opening measures. I can imagine a, a lute player tuning up and starting to, to improvise. And this leads into a main section, which is kind of a pastoral. Then he 
yields a second courant with doubles variations notated, thus giving us an idea how to ornament. And this is followed by the centerpiece, the sarabound, which is a slow, solemn dance. The Spanish court at one point banned the sarabound because they thought it was too erotic. After this, we have two guest dances, I would call them. In this suite, they are two bourrées, fast and lively French dances. The first one in, in the major key, the second one in the minor. So after the second bourrée, we, we repeat the first bourrée. And finally, the jig, which in this suite is like a little fugue or a two-part invention. Uh, the top voice initiates it. And the lower voice imitates. second half of the jig, we make an inversion. That what was this theme, it becomes an inversion. And we know this language and this style from, from the two-part inventions of Bach. So imitation technique, canonic technique, and combined with the character 